Yesterday's D&D vlog explored the idea of solo D&D, and I presented that option uh, basically twofold to kind of framework today's vlog. This idea that life, school, family, responsibilities get in the way where you can't regularly make it to your D&D club or play D&D. So looking at solo as a way to kind of explore that D&D experience. But also as a DM, and, and this is one of the ways that I've used solo D&D, you have a module, you have an adventure, you're kind of curious how it would work, looking at maybe some of the different encounters or places where the rules need to have a decision point, creating a party of NPCs, and take them through the adventure. But what's interesting now within that framework is this idea of AI. And, and I have a couple of questions about it. I could see it going a couple of different ways. And I think it's going to develop very, very fast. So this idea of a DM, twofold, the ability to tell a story, right, to create that narrative, and also in the moment to be able to make a decision and take the adventure with the players in that direction. Now, sometimes the rules help. Sometimes the rules don't help. Sometimes there are no rules. A player will want to do something or they'll ask you a question or you want to make a skill check and it could be this skill check or that skill check or possibly this one and you take it from that perspective. So that was always kind of the, the place where you needed a DM in that moment to make that call and keep it alive. Well, with AI and not just text, I mean, it'll be voice soon enough. It'll be virtual soon enough to have AI take over and not only potentially create an adventure in the moment. I mean, imagine putting a query out to AI party level, um, fourth level, four players each. We want to fight a dragon and it'll come up with an adventure and take you through that. That could be very, very interesting. But also in telling the adventure, now a little bit of kind of wargaming going on, and there's some duality there with the wargaming question, where now AI could possibly analyze the encounter, right? The monsters, look at their abilities, look at the terrain, look at the map, as long as it's all defined, and fight that encounter. You could have D&D &D run an encounter. You can have the AI run the actual encounter. That's something that's interesting also that hasn't been seen before. So this idea of AI being able to run that. Second question, what about the classic modules, right? What about pulling down some modules and you're curious on how it wants to play, having AI take you through it, either as a solo experience or, or going back to the framework question. I pull out a module. I want to play it with the group. I'd like to run through it. Maybe I could play through it with AI and get a feel for it. That's that's pretty exciting. And opening up D&D, &D, it's like almost like we're developing three ways to play D&D. &D. I want to say that the classic way, certainly not the only way, but the classic way of tabletop, sitting down with your friends, dice, maybe miniatures, maybe terrain, maybe a dry erase map, maybe counters, and having that, that physical experience. Then second to that or bolted over that is virtual D and D. The great part about that is you can pull in players from all different metas and it could be something as simple as just voice, or it could be a little bit more complex with um, movement and 3d tokens and virtual dice and everything from that perspective. Then we move to kind of the AI perspective, which could bolt over both. I could do AI with my tabletop group. I could do AI with a virtual group and see what happens. So I think it is definitely going to happen. And would there be some AI custom for the D&D experience? I don't even know if that's necessary. If, if AI really advances a little bit more or kind of this simulated AI, some will argue it's not true AI, just has to be good enough to put out a good adventure, that's going to happen. Now, the another question, the another question, you know, right? That company is going to try and monetize everything. They're trying to get you to pay for that D&D &D because no one's really buying books anymore. It's like the only thing that D&D &D players buy in bulk is dice. That's it. You get a couple of sets of dice and you're like, hey, I'm good to go. I don't need any more. But then you need some more dice. You get some more dice. Just dice, dice, dice. Maybe some miniatures. But 
books are PDFs, or once you get a couple of books as a player, you're good to go. So from that perspective, where's the money? The money used to be in releasing new editions every couple of years, get you to rebuy everything, right? 3.0, 3.5, 3.x. But now that model is shifting from that company where it's going to be D&D Beyond, D&D for everyone, and you're going to pay a, a monthly fee or there's going to be season passes and it's just going to be like DLC that you download and you get to utilize. And, and there could be some interesting stuff. I'm not going to say yes or no, but the idea is shifting from a model of buy it once up front, maybe a hundred dollars for the three books to get you every month, maybe 20 or so dollars with some other season passes and DLC. And maybe you don't even see it as much. What about AI from that perspective? If that company offered an AI experience where you could get together with their D&D Beyond tools and it's the virtual tabletop and it ties in and maybe you have voice um, narration from some of your favorite DMs or, or kind of historic characters in the D&D universe, that could be kind of interesting. If you packaged it, if you made it very, very slick, that could be a lot of fun. I really could see playing D&D from that perspective. And of course, that would be a monthly charge and DLC and all that. But how far would that go? Because AI not AI being independent of everything with just what's out there already, you're not tied to any one particular... The Pandora's box is open, is I guess what I'm saying with the tech. So if they developed something, it's not like they would own it exclusively. There are others out there that could do AI and probably do it just as well, or just good enough. So AI is here. How do you think it's going to impact d and I think it will impact d and I think it'll open up some new ways, some new methods, but I think it's going to be a bolt-on at another way to explore d and just like we explore it traditional tabletop, virtual. Now we'll have AI.